Hey folks, Animana here. Today we're going to go over the Witcher 3 collaboration on Monster Hunter World. And this is where you can get this cool little Hunter runestone you can get. You can see it doesn't do a whole lot of damage on monsters, but in the hands of the Witcher, it actually is a pretty good item. It's actually the Igni sigil that you will be using on him when you're actually playing as him. So we're going to go over the steps on how to unlock this, as well as some armor and some other bits and pieces. So we're going to be starting out in Astera. And as usual, we're going to be going for those characters with the blue exclamation point. It is this set of felines. They're going to have a little chat with you about some weird things going on. And they're going to end up taking you across to the research base where there's going to be a little cutscene that's going to happen. You're going to see about a Necker and also where Geralt of Rivia comes in and we get some plot about what's going on in the ancient forest. And from there, we also learn that basically we can only play as Geralt on this quest. So once that cutscene is out the way, you're going to get this little pop-up basically saying that at this point you're playing as Geralt of Rivia, along with some restrictions on your gameplay, I guess, when you are playing as Geralt and doing that mission. So when you first zone in, you're going to go up to this smithy apprentice. You're going to choose a weapon that is the weapon that basically suits you. You can't actually use Geralt's swords. You actually have to use a Monster Hunter weapon. I guess it's kind of cool to see Geralt using those weapons. But it would be cool to see those swords. But anyway, I go hammer as usual. I'm a hammer boy. But anyway, once that's selected, you can go and start tracking this beast that we're after. I recommend opening the map at this point and looking for these red markers. These are pointing to the direction you need to go for the quest. So first up, I'm going to the Endemic Life Researcher, and we're going to do a little bit of the typical Witcher investigation on this creature. Just to note, this quest does have multiple parts and multiple little missions within the quest, so I do recommend taking your time on it. I'm just going to be going over the main basic points of the quest, or the big overarching quest, so that you can get through to the end. And then from there, you'll be able to actually access this quest and go and do it slowly, bit by bit, in your own time. So once you've done chatting with that character, you're going to go and find the Aptnoth and you're going to have these ravens or the revolters around them and you're going to go and use the Igni sign on it and you're going to get some cutscene going over what's been happening and why this is a little bit weird. And then once you've had that little discussion, we're going to go and look for the next person. So the next person is the botanist. And we're going to be doing quite a bit of tracking with this character. We're going to look for two books and then we're going to start seeing some vines or some roots that have been tangling him up along the way. So eventually you're going to come to him, have another chat with him, just typical Witcher style, I guess, questing and discussion. But once you've done this, we can then go and start to track the actual lechen. It is worth noting at this point, there are some, I guess, inscriptions around the place that you can investigate and continue on another optional part of the quest. But at this point, as I mentioned, I'm going to be focusing on fighting the actual lechen. But do check out the whole area as there are a bunch of side quests that are worth checking out and you're actually going to get a good reward if you can complete them all. Once you've decided to progress on the quest, we're going to look for this totem here. And it's going to be marked on the map as with any of the other parts of the quest you've seen so far. We're going to get ambushed by a whole bunch of the Jagras. And then after we've dealt with them, we can then start fighting the actual Lechen creature. So you're going to get a cutscene and you're going to see this creature appear, which is basically a Wendigo or a Skinwalker or something like that. It is worth noting that as this is a wooden creature, it is going to be weak versus fire. So fire actually stuns it as you can see here. This is going to be your best chance to get some attacks in. But just so it's not overpowered, the Igni sign does actually have a cooldown that is actually pretty long. This will also get rid of any of the big roots that the Leshen will put up. But if you don't have the Igni sign available, you can always walk around the roots and then get behind him as he will just basically pop it up as a frontal kind of cone area in front of him. Otherwise, he also does an area of effect attack with these roots. So you should watch out of those if you are close and he is reaching into the ground. Another thing to watch out about when you are close is that his claw attacks do put the bleed status on you, which can get a little bit hairy when he is sending the revolters out towards you as a projectile. So just, I guess, watch your zoning. Have an ancient potion or something available so you can quickly get your health back also. But aside from that, just keep wailing on him. Uh, he's going to change his location every so often and he does have a teleport too. But eventually you're going to get him down and also you can loot him. I guess skin him or strip him of bark and you get his skull uh, and then you finish the quest and at this point you can go back to town, finish it up, 
uh, you're gonna get the end cutscene, and you're also gonna get access to things like armor and some other bits and pieces. As I said earlier, it will actually become a special assignment, so you can go and do this over and over, and it, as it does say on this tutorial, that you can actually get some extra titles by going through and doing all the side quests. You can actually apparently get different endings as well, so it's definitely worth running this a few times to get the maximum out of it. And here is the quest, it is the Trouble in the Ancient Forest. There is also going to be another quest released in a week or two, and that is going to have the Ancient Lesson. So keep an eye out for that, as that will provide different items to get another set of armor, which we're just about to go over now. So similar to the Street Fighter event, you will get the Garol and also the Siri set unlocked. It needs that Leshen Skull we looted. We also have three Leshen Claws, two Cursed Bones, and two Leshen Resins. We also have the Siri set. This one actually needs the Ancient Leshen Skull, Claws, the Ancient Cursed Bone, and also the Leshen Resin again. And these will also have different skills on them. So for the Geralt set, you have the Witch's Knowledge set bonus, you also have Attack Boost 5, Weakness Exploit 3, Recovery Speed 3, Health Boost 3, Marathon Runner 3, and Bombardier Level 2. And then for the series set, we have Evade Window 5, Free LM Ammo Up 3, we have Attack Boost 3, Divine Blessing 2, Evade Extender 2, Constitution 2, and we also have Razor Sharp Slash Spare Shot Level 1. You'll also get the Hunter Runestone as a gift from Geralt, which will allow you to do the Igni sign, but a very weak version as I showed at the start of the video. So having it in your inventory, you just press the square button if you select it. It's going to do pretty weak damage. It has a pretty, I guess, a quick cooldown, but with the damage it's doing, it's not something you're going to be using over and over. As you can see, I'm wailing on this monster with that spell, and it's pretty much doing nothing. It's not even going into weak status, so it's not really worth it. It's just more of a little fun tool to have. If you go over to the research center, you're going to be able to talk to the provisions master, and they're going to give you a bounty to go and capture a necker so that you can get one of those for yourself, and also so that you can get some equipment in that style for your palico too. So that's actually pretty cool there. And just to finish up, because I didn't really show, here is the login information from this period with the Witcher Wild Hunt special collaboration being available. So just as a, I guess, a, a historical reference, there you go. So I hope that video was helpful. If it was, maybe consider giving me a thumbs up on this video. Otherwise, if you do want to see more videos of me doing Monster Hunter guides or some other games such as Anthem coming up or even God Eater 3, do hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of when my guides go live. Anyway, there is a lot to this quest. There may be some bits and pieces I have missed. If you do believe I have done so, do pop them in the comments below to let everyone know about some of the extra bits to this quest as I'm sure people will be looking for that information. Anyway, I'm Anna Mana. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening or night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you next time. I hope you have a good one.